all right hello everyone and welcome to my channel in today's video we are going to go over the camera system so we'll first go over uh, how to move around in microsoft flight sim 2024 some basics of the camera system some tips and tricks and then next we will uh, go over how to set up custom camera views um, the first part of the video is actually the base or the foundation of uh, of the second part which is loading custom camera views because you cannot load camera views unless you're able to freely move around and get to that uh, view that you want to really save okay so we'll start from that let me turn on my camera we are going to be using a joystick today uh, not a joystick but a gamepad today you can use your keyboard as well uh, so whatever key bindings i show you here you can pretty much use for your keyboard so with the current setup uh, i am already able to at least uh, let me click on the sim i'm already able to at least move around the cockpit uh, freely right the only problem I have is my, uh, what are these called? Hat switches? I don't know. Whatever these are called. So these are assigned to my controls. You see that? So these are singular assigned to my controls, which can mess me up, which can really mess me up. So I, the way I set up my SIM is I want this gamepad to solely control my cameras. I don't want it to control any of my uh, flight control surfaces. So anything related to the airplane, I don't want it to control. I just want it to uh, freely allow me to move around and set up my cameras and take photographs and stuff like that, right? So that's what we want. Um, so that's what we will try to fix here. One more thing it's not able to do is translate up and down. It's not able to adjust the cockpit height here. So we'll edit all of that. I'll explain what you need to disable and stuff like that. So before we get into any of that, please consider leaving a like on this video and also subscribing to the channel. Um, I work full time and I do this for free. I can earn money from this channel, but it's non monetized. So I would highly appreciate if you guys can at least leave a like and uh, a subscription on the channel. By the way, thank you all for everyone who has subscribed from the last couple of videos. I'll try to not disappoint you and not waste your time and get straight to the point on all the videos. So with that out of the way, let's uh, get out and get into the settings menu so first thing you'd have to do is go to controls and select your controller if you're doing it through keyboard then you do it through keyboard doesn't matter uh, but you go to your controller and this is what you're going to see so you'll have general controls where you have this uh, gamepad 2024 traversal profile selected the second one will be airplane controls uh, gamepad 2024 planes profile so that's the key here so all your flight controls and everything are set up in airplane controls so we want to make sure that we disable that completely so you'll see that once we disable that and we go back into the sim, you'll see that now we're not seeing the rudder move around and the, and the joystick move around at all. So basically what we have done is we have disabled the controller from acting up on anything related to the flight control surfaces. So that's the first step fix that we want to do. Make sure that we are not messing around with the flight controls while dealing with the camera. Okay, so now uh, the second thing you would do is on the general controls, you would duplicate this and create a new profile which I am going to just call it master because that's the main profile that I'm going to use for all the airplanes I don't want to change that for any airplane so apply to all aircrafts and hit OK so now we have duplicated that so we'll go down into camera section and there are a couple of things that we'll have to set up here so we know that our translation X and Y axis are already set up right the only thing that we really need to set up here is the increase cockpit height and decrease cockpit height. So there's a setting here called increase cockpit view height. You would assign that to this button. And uh, there's one for decrease cockpit height. You can assign that to this one. And if you don't want to confuse it, maybe you can you can even assign it to, uh, to these uh, left and right, um, whatever these switches are called. So this one and this one. So now you can see that we are able to change the height of the camera in the sim without affecting any flight controls or anything else. So this is the key. And then uh, by the way, for translating X and Y, you have to press this button and then move the head and then move the left left stick around. That's how you translate in the X and Z axis. We basically have full control of our camera here. And we are basically able to move around wherever we want, right? By the way, if you want to make it easier on yourself and not press this while moving the hat switch or whatever this left hat switch, right? To translate X and Z, you can always go back here. You can go to the settings, controls, uh, controller and camera and uh, cockpit camera. 
and then assign the X translation axis directly to this hat switch so that you don't have to press this button at all while uh, while you're moving. So you can just say cockpit view X translation and that'll be this. Just make sure you invert axis on this one because I've seen that it definitely gets, uh, gets inverted. And then you can assign the cockpit view Z translation to up and down. Okay, so now, now you'll see that we are able to move around without without pressing that uh, button like we had to before, which is way more easier, right? I don't want to be pressing this button and then moving around. Now that we can freely move around, and again, like I said, you can also set this up on your keyboard. All you have to do is check these assignments on your controller, see what's moving around in your cockpit, see which button is allowing you to move around in the cockpit, and then assign some button from the keyboard to that particular um, assignment or that particular task so i'm not going to go over all of that since uh, i think most of you understood how to how to do this with the keyboard as well from from the from the controller explanation so let's move on to the custom camera views now okay so once you learn how to move around the cockpit and the cabin uh, setting up custom camera views is really easy so let's say i want to set this view up from behind the co-pilot as one of the custom camera views and i want to set this as custom camera view 2 i can press Control alt and 2 and that will save this as custom camera view 2. So let's say I have reset my cockpit view by pressing this middle button. Now if I press alt 2 that will get me to this custom camera. So you get the point now. I'll show you a couple of examples of how to set up let's say like wing views and stuff which is the juice and if you feel like the speed of your translation is not too much you can just go to this camera setting and increase that translation speed and that will um, that will translate you faster in the in the cockpit and cabin So let's say I want to set this view up uh, Looks pretty good right about the engine right about the wing I want to set this view up as custom camera view 3 so I would just press ctrl alt and 3 and That would set up this view as custom camera view 3 so again I can press reset cockpit view I can press alt 2 to get to my previous camera and then alt 3 to get to the third custom camera so you get the point in order to save the custom camera view you need to press ctrl alt and whatever number you want to save it as and in order to get there you need to press alt plus that number not a lot of change compared to what we have seen on 2020 but there are some nuances for example disabling the airplane controls and stuff like that 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 makes it a little bit easier because on 2020 you would have to go into flight control surfaces and disable each one of them even if you duplicate the profile but here it's as simple as just clicking one button and going to the none profile and that will disable everything under that controller for anything that has to do with uh, airplane controls i liked it that way at least for the at least for the camera controls once i actually got used to it so yeah that's uh, that's pretty much it for this video all right so like i said please make sure you like the video and uh, i would also appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel i will see you on the next video a lot of msfs 2024 videos coming in so so make sure you stick around and i'm sure you won't be disappointed